Peace, peace, peace. We knowledge in the culture. No listen and observe. Coach High Guard, you know, we trying to get to the understanding and trying to striving our best to understand uh, 1555. Right? So we're going to hit 1555. We're going to hit the assassination of George Floyd. Um... And how they assassinate all these Asiatic brethren, Trayvon Martin and um, the little baby Tamia Rice, Tamia, Tamia, Tamia Rice. I think that was Tamia or something like that. You know who I'm talking about, the baby Rice, the Rice baby. And then you have, uh, you can go all the way back to Rodney King, we can, the Staten Island, um, Choking, I can't breathe, and stat now, and then you got I can't breathe, Floyd, and Minnesota, and if I ain't mistaken, it was I can't breathe in Tacoma too, and um, I'm sure it was uh, other killings where I couldn't breathe, but we didn't even get to see those, you know, and then the, the I guess the last two we could say they actually destroyed or broke the camel's back, or as the baby girl said. Uh, we have to find another turn that's not going to damage the animals. <laughs> and uh, so we look in and we see, and we see, uh, oh, I know. Before we get into George, let me just give him a quick synopsis. Under and Millie, um, they were asking about the food. Okay, well. All right, let me give it to you right quick again. The rules are no matter what, and if you don't stick to these rules, you can't reboot the system, bring the hard drive back to factory, reboot your body to almost back to uh, just before prime or right after prime, right? So you want to make sure that you don't have any grain. Not just wheat, no grain. Later on... When you reboot your system, you can add ancient grain. All right, the next one is starch. Starch, later on, you're going to have exceptions to the rule. You'll have some starch that you'll be able to reintroduce back into the diet after you have reboot the system. Maybe some sweet potatoes or some red potatoes. Those used to always be the two go-tos for underground vegetables. Um, some people added beets, but all of those, all of those sugary, starchy, underground roots actually are not designed for you to eat. They're really designed for underground animals, rodents and that such, but... I mean, you can eat them. They they won't destroy your physical composition the same way glyphamite will. But I'm saying, obviously, they're not ideal or you'd be able to use them to reboot the system. The only root that I saw that was rebootable that you could reboot your system with was maca. I saw all the red, yellow, black, those maca, you know, any of the maca would, would still be able to help you reboot. Uh, let's go to the next one. No, already we already said no grain, no starch, no sugar. Now, when they say no sugar, if you go into the lesson, it's actually talking about refined sugar. But for rebooting purposes, you don't want any sugary fruit that's going to make your insulin boost up because it needs to to digest the sugar. The Glyco. Grain is sugar. Starch can be sugar too. And so can uh, soy. It tries to be protein, but then it has too much uh, female hormone attached to it or it activates yours. Uh, it's just, it falls in the same category as flax seeds for men. Men don't really need flax, they need macadamia, right? Uh, black, black maca, cocoa, they want that ginseng, right? Uh, so, right, no grain, no starch, no soy, no sugar, especially refined sugar. Uh, whole organic fruits and vegetables, 
which they have a sugar content, won't do the damage. But this is not what we're doing for rebooting. To reboot the system, you want no sugar. If you're going to use any kind of sugary fruit, there should be sh fruit from the bush. The sugar content in fruits from the bush is very low. All right, so that's blueberries, not strawberries. That's not a true berry. That's a fruit of the vine. Um, all the bush blueberry, boysenberry, all those berries that bears like. All right? And then, okay, what did we do? We did, we, we did it over again. No grain. I want to emphasize not wheat in particular, but no grain, period. Uh, no sugar, no starch, no soy, no dairy. Now, if you're really good about it, and you really know what you're doing, you're going to cut out the animals too. But say you're not at that level. You, you're not ready to leave the animals alone. All right, well, then make sure that all of the animal meat that is consumed is according to Leviticus 11 specifically and that you use how to eat to live to feed yourself with the vegetables so that means you won't be using any farm animal food like mustard greens collard greens um, um what do they like to have kelp i mean not kelp kelp is good uh Oh, God, I can't remember it right now. But I, when that comes back to me, I'm um, kale, kale. That's it. That's, that's for the cows. So kale for cows, double stomach animals, split hoof and chew a cud. Um, mustard greens is for them. If you have a farm, you want to give them that. You want to let them grass fed. You don't want to give them any grain, no corn, no none of that oats and all that. They didn't eat that in natural. Naturally, they're grass eaters. So wild grass by the riverbanks is good, um, like that for them. Pardon me, I'm real tired here, working on crazy hours, essential worker over here. And so um, that should cover you and Millie pretty good. Uh, lay all of y'all could if y'all follow that rule and you if you still seeing ailments, trust me, it is not. The nutritional laws of the dietary of ancient order free agenics, um, uh, research that we did. It's not that. We've already tested. It's not that. It's something you're, you, you're something is slipping in. Every time we notice that the ailments didn't leave or the ailments came back or something happens because you slipped it in. I'll give you, for instance, a guard that said to me, oh, some of my stuff is coming back. I was like, okay, so what are you eating? He was like, oh, I had some falafel, and I guess he got it from a place, and they fried the falafel, or they baked the falafel, but they're still going to use oil in the falafel, vegetable oil, whatever kind of oil they're using. The oil, there's the inflammation right there, the oil. And falafel, you shouldn't have been eating it trying to reboot, because why? It's a legume. And the only legume you should have been eating after rebooting was navy beans. Maybe black beans, but mostly the, the 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 lesson called for navy beans. If you were going to deal with any of the legumes, um, if you were going to deal with the chickpeas, that was going to come after rebooting, right? After you reboot, those are exceptions to the rule, legumes, because they're still uh, falling with peanuts and all of that, right? Navy beans, black beans, beans and period fall in that category. And you can't really eat beans raw. You have to cook them. So you want to make sure that you sprout them first. If they're sprouted, they're closer to plant. They're not just the seed anymore. So you want to sprout them. Same thing you're dealing with your... Macadamia is not going to sprout a flower, but it's not. But you want to get those sprouted or if you want to sprout them or soak them in water for a few hours before you uh, make them into a smoothie or macadamia milk, whatever the case may be. Uh, mostly all your nuts and seeds aim for the sprouted ones. They're much easier on the digestion, right? The green vegetables. People like broccoli. Steam it, whatever the case may be. It's okay. It's a hybrid fruit. Hybrid uh, vegetable. 
falls in the category with cauliflower and the rest of those hybrids. But they're not going to do to you, if you get them organic, what glyphamite will do to you with one little sandwich, all right? Now, for rebooting purposes, I left all of those off the list. All of that kind of, unless they were green. Cauliflower is more white looking, pale, the green. So the broccoli was okay because it was green. Spinach was okay, green. Romaine lettuce was green. Um, any of the other uh, green leafy vegetables, okay, except for the ones on the list that was basically what Elijah was calling a slave food, but actually it was farm food for the cattle, uh, goats, sheep. It was for them. Right, and also it put nutrients back in the soil when you change the crops around. Things like that, that's what they use it for. And then they would use, you know, uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes, red potatoes, and all them kind of potatoes. You could cross them to the market, but a lot of times they use that for feed to feed their hogs, because hogs are, are root animals. They like root. They're omnivores, but they like roots. Right? Um, what else did we need to hit? Like I said, if you're going to go with the animals, go with the organic and go uh, Leviticus 11. Deuteronomy Leviticus is the actual rules and regulations. But go to Leviticus 11. That'll show you which, which animals split off, chew or cut, all that, right? Um, oh, we try to put in at least a gallon of water a day. So this is for rebooting now. And um, if you can, try to buy the, the amazing grass, the ones that's the triple one where it's alfalfa. Uh, wheat grass, um, barley grass, those kind of green grasses. Try to stick with just the green grass, not the one that has the fruit in it, right? Go with the ones with all the grasses in it, um, all the vegetables. Go with that and put that in water when you're getting ready to do your 16-hour fast. You can you can drink that. That'll help your liver. Uh, remove all the toxins and your kidneys, help your kidneys remove the toxins. Um, help your blood, purify your blood and um, actually clear up any poisons in your body. It takes a while to do it, but heavy metals could be in there too. And so you want to relieve, you want to release all of that. But you, if you have this kind of damage to your body, it's going to take more than 12 days to detoxify. You understand it, right? Anywhere from 21 months, especially if you already got hypertension or diabetes, you can go anywhere from 21 months. Even if you get off the medication, you can't flip back and go back to going to Olive Garden. That's a wrap for you. It's over. Don't even think about doing processed food, right? Main thing you want to do is leave processed food alone. I was telling under that one of the early early understandings of, of the dietary law we, fi we figured out was that processed Vegan food, that processed meat, all those fake meats. None of that is right and exact. Most of that shit is wheat. So leave all that processed meat alone. That shit is garbage, all right? That's not really vegan. Vegan means absence of the animals. But if you're replacing it with poison plants, you're just doing yourself a disfavor. All right, now we're going to get along to the George movement, which is really dealing with 1555. And we see how, did you see how they had all three of those Europeans? So are uh, they representing three different European nations like England, France, Spain, Portugal, those kind of places like to come for our throats. Italy, they like to come at us. Um, that's like the main ones that be coming for our throats, real talk. Portugal, Spain, Italy. Italy, not so much anymore in these modern days, but back in the days they was coming for our throat. But in these modern days, Italy ain't really doing much. Pretty much after World War II, they kind of slowed their roll. France, they still doing, they, you know, that, remember the Foreign Legion and all? That was France's shit. Napoleon, right? And then England, you know what England did. They basically uh, took free people from Africa and free people from America and told all of them that they brought them all over here from Africa. And then they, after they did that, they turned them into their prisoners of wars and then they enslaved them. 
And then they told them your history was being a slave. And that's the 50 states. So I don't really got to go through all that, but I'll give you a quick run. 1555, indoctrination period, 1492, 1555. And then you go into from 1555 all the way to 1865, pretty much. I don't care which nations was popping up and down, 1776 and all that. They still was doing the crazy shit they was doing starting in 1555. Am I lying? All right. Timeline hits 1865. Right, this is when you start really seeing the the George Floyd incidents, where they're putting hands on your neck and on your back and on everywhere, and they just going all crazy on you, like they did him. That was they went crazy on him the same way they was doing all the way back. They've been going crazy on us. It's just the social media have been exposing them, so that's why everybody sees it now. And so the world sees how they run around here telling everybody to be civil. And that everything is earthlings and how you're supposed to treat the earth and keep your footprint down and population explosion and we trying to feed the world. And they mainly over here putting foot to ass. Uh, every Asiatic in the wilderness of North America is getting smashed. Even the ones that slip through the net, if something slip up, they'll get smashed too. They slip. They, if you slip, then you're slipping. All right, so... The fact that from 1865 to about 1875 was that one little reprieve we had. And that's when we built up everything that we could do. And we were just going crazy. And they saw it and got jealous and came attacking us. Like, for instance, example, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Rosewood. You've seen that movie. I did a video on that. Rosewood one. I didn't have to do nothing for Tulsa, Oklahoma because Tulsa, Oklahoma... The reason I didn't get a chance to do a video on Tulsa, Oklahoma, because first of all, when it came out, I didn't even know about it, right? And so, when we started learning about it, because they started bringing it up, you know, like right around the time when we got knowledge of stuff, so I would say about a decade after we got knowledge of stuff, they, we started finding out about that, too. Um, and then we found out about 78 other cities and townships that, all together, it was like 98 townships that they did this to. Plus the 100 years of lynching we got, the Jim Crow, the, um, the so-called separate but equal, equal. And then after that, after we, we went crazy all over the world and all over America telling them that shit ain't right and exact, and they finally gave in. And then they, they, but, they, but you had to give up some blood. You had to lose all your heroes. You know, all your heroes had to give up their physical composition so that you could not have Jim Crow. So people who were not from this country who were original people could come here and then try to shit on us too. And we the ones made it possible for you motherfuckers to even get in here. Pardon my language, but it's some real talk. So anyway, they be coming over here because they listen to the propaganda that the European give them. And they be trying to come over here and, and disrespect the original man in the wilderness of North America. But it's all good. You know, you can do what you do, it's just that you need to wake up and understand, which now it looks like since Floyd had to give up his life, like somebody always had to give up their life so that people could recognize. Otherwise, these, these hardship people, they do not recognize anything unless somebody dies. When they were talking about peaceful protest, if it was totally a peaceful protest, they would act like, you know, uh, it's shit that wouldn't even happen. But what happened was, Tearing up things and going crazy make other people in other places, other countries, look and see what's going on. So that's why you got a, a view. I'm not saying tearing up shit is right and exact, but sometimes tearing up shit is what goes down because they tore up shit. These people learn about tearing up shit from you. You say, oh, but that's not right and exact to tear up shit. Have you ever thought about when you tore up Tulsa, Oklahoma? What about that? Did you think about tearing up shit ain't right and exact when your people was tearing up Tulsa, Oklahoma? Did you think about that? Even right now, to this day, Europeans will fight you. That's a European-American will fight you tooth and nail if you say that the Asiatics in wilderness North America that was imprisoned, prisoners of war, missing in action, and tortured and maimed, and all kind of atrocities done against them, they should be compensated, their ancestors should be compensated, and I guarantee you most of these Europeans, maybe now since Floyd, they might not fight so hard, but, mo but most of the time before that, 
man, the news media, everybody would be going crazy on you. It's like I see all these Europeans that's in the media now all of a sudden. They see the plight. They only see the plight because the regular grassroots people are fed up and they saw the plight and came to the original man in North America's aid. That's what happened. But first, we got mad and let everybody see we was getting mad. And then uh, everybody saw it. And all the regular people, those are regular people and those are young people, children, young people. Teenagers, young adults are out there. Most of the old people was too afraid to go outside because they thought they were going to catch coronavirus. If it wasn't for the young people going out there flipping out, this George would have been swept under the rug like the rest of these murders that the police doing. They, they wouldn't have looked out. It was just a combination. It was like a combination of from 1555 to now, we pretty much fed up. 500 years of y'all doing this same shit, sticking your knee in our neck and killing us. For no reason. We never do nothing to you. You sit there and tell lies about the other lady. She's telling her daughter, well, I, I believe I'll, um, I'll help those Black Lives Matter with black people stop killing police. And everybody looked at her like, what are you talking about? Show me statistics black people kill police. You liar. Black people don't kill no police. Get the fuck out of here. You making that shit up. You ain't got any no true statistics. You know they be using propaganda and telling lies about how we supposedly rape people. And we do all this craziness that they do. That they have done. That they did to us. Everything you say we did to you is really in reverse. Everything that they be saying we are as, as lambs wool people... They lying. It's them. They be doing all of that shit. And then they be propagandering their own self till they believe that the lie that themselves, that they don't do that. But I can hear all of them speaking English, and they come from England. But I don't hear us speaking Swahili or none of the native tongues that we spoke. I was looking up the other day, and I saw some more by alphabets that we had discovered years ago, right? Lay had this red book. Here he go being selfish, didn't let nobody get the book. Didn't want to us to know, but anyway, that's another story. So anyway, we had the, I know you laughing, motherfucker. You know you did that shit. Um, we saw the book. I think a couple of us took pictures of the, the, the alphabet. But the long story I'm making is you got different languages. The most diverse languages in the world come from the continent that they consider that they call in these modern days Africa, you know? All of the resources are there. Everything is in the navel of the planet Earth. It's right there. And so all these countries outside of 30th parallel on north or south and the equator and all of that, Tropic of Capricorn, Tropic of Cancer, oh, that's where everything is at. That's the navel of the planet. That belt that goes all the way around. That's the navel. And the rest of these fools didn't have what we had. So that's why they coming for our throats. See? And then all that racism, it stems back to that German college. They could act like it isn't there or whatever. But that German university that came up with mongoloid, caucasoid, negroid. And then with that in combination with evolution and Darwin and the Roman Catholic Church with their Egyptology and all that other craziness they came up with. And England and them joined in and France. Even France was in on it because remember they killed up the Knight Templars so they wouldn't tell the secrets and all that. So, I mean, this shit been going on for a minute. It's been a long war of them trying to imprison you, the original man with lands will and make it look like you did nothing for earth and people say well that's a hell of a conspiracy to do it's not that hard if you did if you started way back like four five hundred years ago they started this shit about 500 years ago with this i'm white you black and all this other craziness with uh you gonna be the slave and all of this all right and once they established that they started systematically teaching their people to lie as well as themselves so that by the time generations went by, 500 years went by, these fools believed the lie. They think the lie is the truth. And if we would have went with it, we was going for it at first and we was tricked until people like 
uh, Nobu Drew Ali, Marcus Garvey, W.D. Farad, Elijah Muhammad, uh, the father. These people, uh, people like that, those people, and then they, and people carried it on. Those people came to our people and told us the truth. And then from there, our scholars started doing things. J.A. Rogers, Dr. Bannon, all the rest of those great scholars that we have that started doing their own paleontology and anthropology and sociology. And you have those doctors that started going into psychology and Dr. Francis Chris Wesley, all of them, they started doing their own research because they noticed that the Europeans' research was lies and bias. Look at uh, medical apartheid. And you see all of these different academics coming from different academia, some from knowledge itself, some from Oxford, some from self-taught, and all over the place doing the knowledge to the planet Earth bringing out that wisdom and giving you the understanding that these people are telling you lies to destroy your self-esteem. And I hate to say they try to boost their own self-esteem, but that wasn't what they were doing. They were trying to keep their self-conscious from flipping out because of the way they were treating people. Their insides, the consciousness, you need to quell that. And the only way you can quell that is you have to justify it. So you have to make... They already was on the, the system of... I'm better than the animals because they already had set that up with the apex predator. And then they went all the way down the species that was lesser. And they said, these are greater and these are lesser. So once they did that, they could establish that. Well, these lesser beings, we don't have to have no respect for them. We only have to have respect for beings that are us and above. And so they keep establishing these type of things. And then the next thing you know, they slip you in lamb's wool as being down with the animals, like you one step away from them, so now they can treat you bad and they don't have to feel bad about it. You feel me? But what happened was the youth and other and other people as youth, and I'm saying around World War One, World War Two, Europeans start realizing that that story that they an, that they their ancestors and that, and I and I use their ancestors loosely with them. I'm talking about they, you know, at fifteen fifty five up that the stories they told them as children was all lies because they would meet somebody who was Asiatic, would develop a relationship and find out that shit is that none of that's true. So now you you rock in the cradle because now you got Europeans writing books. Right. You got Europeans uh coming up with, with uh with books like the Iceman Inheritance. All right. Um you have stuff coming up. Is he European? Well, you got John Henry Clark here, so maybe he isn't European. But anyway, the point I'm making is you got books like Iceman Inheritance coming out, right? Then, on the same note, you'll see something like Constitution, Fact of Fiction by Schroeder. Then, you could go cross-referencing that because you're bouncing back and forth because of the way the lies of truth and falsehood, they strangely mix. So what you have to do is you have to cross-reference things. So then you have to go and look at stuff like Atlantis beneath the ice. Read it. See what I'm talking about. Even the lost continent of Mu. You have to understand that they're going to put their racism in it because they have to hide the fact that it's you. It's really what it is. It's you. Uh, they don't want their people to know it's you because they already told their people all these lies. And so now they have to, you know, lie, take a lie to keep a lie going. Right? So now what what other we, oh all right, here's one. Forbidden history. Definitely look that up. Go to Forbidden History is by Douglas Kenyon, right? Douglas Kenyon. And get as many of his books or that series that comes out. Get them. Because these are the things that you can use to teach your students and expose that the devil is the one running around here fronting and God is the one trying to tell you the real shit right forbidden archaeology the hidden history of the human race is what they call it right that's the name of the book right uh Cremo and who's his friend Thompson so you got Michael Cremo and you have Richard Thompson get that 
That's another one that slaughters all that re- that regular crazy shit they talking about Egypt. When they talking about how they trying to say Egyptology. Egyptology is a joke. Go learn about Kemet. And, and 10,000 years ago in Gemini, the constellation was Gemini. And then, like right now, we're on the cusp of Pisces and Aquarius. Oh, here's another good one. They came before Columbus, Ivan Van Sertima. That's a known one. Everybody knows that book. You know, these are, these are the books I'm saying that contradict the teachings of the European. Here's another good, good one. Black man of the Nile and his family. Now, here we go, right back to George. George, uh, George who got smashed in the neck by that European. Black robes, white justice. Look at that one. Here's another one. The FBI warned Tupac Shakur and black leaders. Contel Pro. All that is the same thing that happened to George and Trayvon Martin and Freddie George and all the rest of those. Uh, and then there is blind, crippled, crazy. Bl- young, old, medium. Remember the bumpus woman? You know, I mean, it's, it's like it's, we know these stories. Like we, they all calling out the names. You see the young people, they walking around saying, and remember these names and call out these names. And, man, so many names, they can't even call them all out. They trying to call them all out, but they can't even get to them all. Here's another one. Black nationalism, a search for an identity in America. That's another good one, right? Uh, what else do we have here? I'm looking, I'm looking. Trying to give y'all something to work with here. Because, uh, but we, but remember now, the subject matter is just, it's still George Floyd. And by going to George Floyd, the subject matter automatically flips into 1555. You can't help but going to 1555 if I'm saying three police, which used to be back in the days, they used to be the ones that, you was a slave, right? First you was a prisoner of war that they, and a free man that they stole from whichever side of the earth they stole you from. Kidnapped you or uh, abducted you, right? Alien abduction. That's what the fuck that was. So now after they do all that, they acting like you wrong and they right. Now you ain't got, you, you lost your culture creed, genealogy, genetic code, family structure. You name it, they took it. Everything, even your language, they took everything away from you, even your language. All right, and they did it, and they made, and they supplanted it, and and put you in a position where the the amalgamation of all the tribes are right here in the fifty states to such a degree you don't even really know which tribe you are. Even when you do the DNA, that shit is not totally right and exact, but it gives you a close idea of the tribes and families that you could have been from, or whatever where you was, right. All right, and then you don't know if they're lying about that, too, because they tell lies about everything. I mean, which part do they tell the truth on? We need our own DNA people to, to do it. We need to redo everything. But anyway, the point I'm making is, how you going to believe somebody that's been lying so hard? They've been telling so many lies that somebody like Ben, Dr. Ben, Yusuf Ben, had to come up and make a like two books on Black Man Now and Sammy. Not counting all the other books he had to write. J.A. Rogers. How many books he had to write to refute the the lies and propaganda that the European put on our people? Yes, he had to do it. You feel me? So that's why I keep saying uh, it goes right back. All right. We're going to go back now. Now we're going to look. So now if we look in and we say... Well, let's just look at some dates. Let's go like 1934, then you go 1964, then you go 1969, right? So you got June 13th, 1969. You have October 10th, 1964. You have February 20th, 1934. Look and see what was happening on Earth in America in those times. And tell me, does it not, does it not match what was going on in 2000s, Right? If we go back to uh, 1934, what were they doing to the original man in the wilderness of North America in 1934? What were they doing to the original man in the wilderness of North America in 1914, 1964? It had to be bad if a law had to come out of the temple and go into the ghettos of hell and teach the youth. 120. Can you imagine 
it's heaven. And why would God need to come and and tell the truth if if the truth was already being told? Because it wasn't being told. We were all being told lies. And we were locked into the lies and we couldn't get out of them. That's why Malcolm and Martin had to give up their physical composition. The father had to give up his physical composition because the European did not want you to know uh, the truth of yourself, right? Now, think about it. Knowledge itself is a two-edged sword because it cuts both ways, to and fro. What happens is if you follow the, the five principles, no grain, no starch, no soy, no dairy, right? Uh, I would give up the animals too, but if you just go with the first part, grain, starch, sugar, soy, dairy, right? Hit that part. Like I said, if you're going to eat animals, make sure that if they fish, ocean animals, it's only fins and scales under 20 pounds. Uh... Deuteronomy, uh, go to Leviticus 11, split hoof to a cud, right? You're going to do that. And now, and you're going to do that sparingly because you don't need that much protein. You need more fat and you need uh, vitamins and minerals. You need the vegetables is what you really need. Increase the vegetable intake, especially if you're trying to reboot your system, it would be great. I hate to tell people do this because they say it's too hard. But if you could go like 14 days on just raw fruit and vegetables, just raw, and the, and you know the vegetables that you're going to use, all the green leafy ones, the only fruit that you're going to eat is the berries, right? If you need some berries, if you need some other kind of sugar because you're craving it, go get some of that honey, right? Now, this honey is really expensive. So you might want to just look for any kind of raw honey that you could find. But the real honey would be this... Uh, Manuka honey from New Zealand. I might not be saying it right. M A N M M A N U K A. Manuka, right? Get that. That is medicinal in and of itself, right? Um, they have another kind of almond butter that's good to add to your cipher, or that raw sprouted pumpkin seed butter. Um, they have the unsweetened. Raw sprouted almond butter. That's another one. Those, that oil on the top is excellent. Um, I like the crunchy roasted one. That they, they uh they sprout the this the uh they sprout the almonds and then roast them a little bit. I like those because it pulls that oil up a little heavier, and I like the oil. But I mean, you start figuring out what's your flavor. Now, the reason why I say it's a two-edged sword is because at the same time, you'll be getting in better shape. You'll be able to move quicker. Your joints will be better. But what happens is you not only get better, but you have less appointments with the doctor. You have less pharmaceuticals that you need. Eventually, you can give up all your pharmaceuticals. And so would you rather keep taking insulin and, and eating like you did when you was a slave and trying to act like you write and exact with your slave food. Would you rather stay doing that or now that the proven fact is you've been eating that slave food for a minute now, thinking it's not slave food, and look what is they wrecking havoc on the whole nation. Everybody is fat, out of shape. We all got some kind of ailments. We all got hypertension. We got diabetes. We're just a terrible lot. We're going down fast. So... But we can increase our productivity if we if we make this move. Anyway, that should cover under. Um, we will never be able to cover all of those people that were murdered by the police department unless somehow FBI and Congress and the state senates and all of them make a law saying that we could go back and get all those police that killed people unjustly, we reopen up all those cases and every last one of them, Zimmerman, all of them, because of the corrupt system, we gonna put all of them back in jail where they should be at. And all those Asiatics that got set up by the police, all those crooked cops that was had all the regular cops too scared to say anything, because that's what it is. Them crooked cops be way stronger than the, the good cops. 
And the good cops be afraid of the crooked cops. Because those crooked cops will fuck your ass up. You don't know who you fucking with. Straight up and down. You better be scared of them if you ain't if you don't have big numbers in and have it so that the people are on your side. Otherwise, you're on your own. Because that's how it goes down. And it's true. A lot of black people, when they become police, they don't, they just give up their nationality. All the other nationalities don't give up their nationality. They stay who they are. Irish, Italian, they bring bagpipes to the damn fruit. You can't bring no drum and be a Congo man. No, you better not come in there acting like you too African or whatever. Asiatic, Moor, whatever you you are, Hebrew. Whichever one you go in there being too much of that and see her how they act. And that tell you right there, you in the clan's den. But it can be it could be repaired. If anything else, if things could, if your physical composition could come from a a a, 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 a horizontal in the ground, six feet under, to a living perpendicular on your square, shining nothing but light, so bright that you blind people, then this could be fixed too. It's it's geared to be fixed. Uh, the system itself was created with flaws in it, but it also had other things in it that you could amend the flaws. <sighs> you just got to be willing to do it. I mean, read the Prince Machiavelli, and I'm out. Peace. Divine understanding, born of law.